Hi everyone and welcome back to CN2 Sports. Well, the Winthrop men's soccer team capped off the season this year by running the table at the Big South Tournament and earning themselves a spot in the NCAA Tournament against Duke. But what you may not know is that two of those Big South champion Eagles were fighting a battle off the field that made winning a championship seem rather unimportant. It was the chance of a lifetime. Brothers Matt and Adam Skonicki playing on the same Division I soccer team and competing together for a championship. That was, that was really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Fell for sure, never forget that. That was one of the greatest days of my life. Being able to have my dad and my mom and Matt, all of us there, just, it was awesome. I mean, I've won it two years prior, but this one was, it definitely felt more special to have Adam there on the field, um, my mom there taking pictures. And when I scored that goal, to see my dad's face was just spectacular. I'll never forget that moment. When looking around on the soccer field, all you could see that day was joy. But what many people didn't know was that Matt and Adam's mother, Barbara Skonicki, a woman who'd been on the sidelines almost every game for four years, was suffering from chronic leukemia and struggling to survive. With the two boys playing together, that was, I didn't want to miss one game. Knowing that my mom, you know, the most special woman in my life, uh, is there to watch me, uh, it helps me, like I said, motivate myself to do the best I possibly can. And Barbara did the best she possibly could, balancing grueling cancer treatments and still making sure that she was always there to watch her boys. When she sees her uh, two guys playing up top uh, and uh, scoring goals, getting assists, that's making her happy. So, I, d I just like to keep a positive attitude with everything. I try not to dwell on what I'm going through and keep just a positive thing so everybody, you know, my family, my kids, they can deal with their own lives and they don't have to worry about me. But they did worry. After five years of treatment, the doctors told Barbara that her only chance of survival would be a bone marrow transplant. I was told I needed a match to have a long-term um, lifespan. You know, it was something I needed. And after long months of waiting and hoping, she finally got the news that she had found her match. I just went nuts. <laughs> it was a very exciting phone call. I didn't know who to call first, my husband. I called him right away, wasn't sure. I really wanted to tell him in person, but you know, I had to tell him over the phone and you know, it was nice. It was neat. A lot of tears. It was really it was it was amazing. I mean, there's there's no words that can explain it. Lately I've been kind of losing my focus because I've been worried really worried about my mom and then when I can find out that she got a 10 out of 10 match, which was pretty rare, so she got that. So, I mean, that was huge for our family. Knowing that in a year from now, we're not going to have to deal with this anymore is spectacular. Um, she's going to be healthy. Um, it's going to be difficult four or five months, but uh, we've gotten through stuff before. We've gotten through stuff before, and uh, this is just another bump in the road. This bone marrow match is truly a blessing, and whoever is out there that you know decided to join the registry, God bless you. Now you also have the opportunity to say.